right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix uh, Windows 10 sound problems now these have been requested by a couple of people on my YouTube channel and as you can see here we have a Windows 10 and we're going to go to the speaker icon and first off we're going to make sure that we're not selected with zero sound here so we're going to make sure that you've got 100% uh, sound and you have the right speakers selected on the drop down menu this is another important step. If you have the wrong one selected, it won't work. And it sounds simple, but a lot of people do make that general mistake. So that's the first step out of the way. Let's move on to the next one. We're going to right click on the speaker icon and go to playback devices. Now this will open up a little sound uh, box here. And once we go into there, you'll see uh, some uh, speaker icons here. Now yours may be slightly different to mine, but just make sure that when you're looking here that you see a uh, Realtek uh, high definition uh, audio and you can also see a Realtek high definition audio uh, with digital output. Now if you're not using the digital output um, port then you're not going to get audio. Now it may actually go green when you play a sound file and you may get some uh, movement on the uh, sound bar there but may not get sound out so that can confuse you so I'm playing some audio here you won't be able to hear it I've muted the sound but you can see here the sound bar is actually going up but we're getting no sound out and that's because we're not actually using digital output on our uh, computer so when you select the right speakers which is the high definition audio ready and set this as your default you then get sound coming out of your speakers and that's exactly uh, the uh, right selection that you need to make there and that's a common mistake that people make as well okay now moving on to the next step what we're going to do is we're going to troubleshoot our audio go down to the speaker icon here and right click on it and then at the bottom you'll see troubleshoot sound problems click on this uh, this will open up a troubleshooting uh, sound problem box and it will start to, to detect uh, loads of issues with your sound and try to fix those issues for you. Now first off you need to select the device what you're having trouble with, headphones or you're having trouble with your speakers or audio and you can see here we're going to select the speakers with Realtek high definition audio. Select that and it will then try to detect some problems with that and you can see a common uh, fix which is so simple to do which uh, I don't know why they haven't sorted this out yet which is sound effects or enhancements you can fix this by just clicking on the open enhancements here and I'll show you how to do it another way a little bit later on as well this will open up the speaker properties box and you can see loud uh, loudness equalizer just disable all sound effects sometimes this can have conflictions and cause crackling and all sorts of nastiness on your audio so put that into the box and click next this will then start to try to resolve some of those issues that you're having so let that finish it may take a bit of time to scan your system and once it does it will say Windows has fixed your problem you must restart your computer for the changes to take effect so what you're going to do next is click on next and this will then continue to scan your system and find any other problems that you may have and then you can restart your computer and there you go audio enhancements did not load fixed and now we can click on close and restart your computer and hopefully your problem has been resolved if it's not and you need to move on to the next step then we'll go on to that one right now so the next step you can see there is a red cross here no speakers no headphones are plugged in and they may be plugged into your computer this is another common uh, mistake or issue that people have so we're going to come over to the start button right click on the start button and go device manager open up the device manager this will open up our device uh, manager window and uh, once we're inside here we can open up the sound video and game controllers and you can see there is Realtek high definition audio there and there's a little arrow we need to uh, enable the audio otherwise it won't work so just right click on this and click enable you will see the red cross disappear and you should then start to get some audio now if you're having other issues where you're getting yellow exclamation marks and stuff like that then we'll need to address that a little bit later on 
but you can see here you have some other options available to you. So we're going to go to the properties tab here and you can see it says this device is working properly. Sometimes this does get displayed and you still may be having issues with your audio. So take that with a pinch of salt. Next, you're going to go to driver and you can see here we have driver date when you installed the driver and you can also see a driver version and this is the version of driver that you're using and the actual driver date is the driver date uh, uh, version so you can see here we can uh, get a newer one if there's one available you can click on update driver and update your driver if there's a newer one available or if you're having issues with the one you've just installed then you can use the rollback driver feature and this will allow you to roll back your driver and put it back to a previous state when it was working correctly so sometimes this is grayed out and you can't use this method and that's because you haven't got a driver to roll back to. So let's click on the update driver here and you can search online automatically for updates for that driver software. Sometimes this is a bit hit and miss and it doesn't always work and it can take quite a while to do. So I'm going to go to browse viewer driver. Now if you have a driver CD you can click let me pick. Now you can see here listed there's a couple of drivers here. All, uh, high definition audio device and also Realtek high definition audio device. You can go next and try to uh, see whether that fixes your issue or if you have the disc click on have disc and then just browse to the location where you have your disc installed or where the folder is of that driver and then locate that device at uh, that driver uh, device driver and then click OK and it will install that for you. And then hopefully once you've done that you can click on next and then that will fix your issue. Now if you haven't uh, still resolved your problem and you're still having issues then you can also download your driver as well and I'll show you how to do that right now by going to the actual manufacturer's website. You can see here Realtek high definition uh, device audio uh, driver and this is going to be the driver that you need to download from the web website or from the motherboard website. So you can see here on the Realtek website, now yours may be a different audio driver, but here you can download the latest drivers because they are created by Realtek. So click on the high definition audio codex. Inside here you can accept their terms and agreement and then also go next and it will allow you to then download the right type of driver that you require. You can see here 32-bit and also 64-bit from Windows Vista right the way up to Windows 10 and you can download the latest version and you can see the latest version is 2017 so our one is out to date so if you download that you can then install that and fix your problem if you're having an issue with a driver. Now also you can go to the motherboard manufacturer where you bought your computer or you bought your motherboard from and uh, once you get there you'll be able to download the driver from there also and I'll show you how to do that now. My motherboard is an MSI motherboard and you can see that that's the type of motherboard that I've got in my system and on the driver section here select the uh, Windows operating system, yours may be different if it's Gigabyte but it will be the same process. Drill down until you find your onboard audio driver and you can see it's Realtek and there we have the date and you can now download it from here as well if you feel more comfortable downloading it from that location. Again if you have the CD you can also use the CD that come with your computer or your motherboard but it's always best to try and get the latest version um, to get it working. So moving on to the next step if you're still having issues we're going to go back into device manager here and if you have a look inside device manager you can uninstall uh, the driver. So what we're going to do is right click on here and you can see here we have some options here and we can uninstall it. Let's go into properties and then go driver and you can click on uninstall here. Now sometimes Windows wants to put in a driver of its own and you can disable that option so you can put in your brand new driver that you've just downloaded. Okay, So to do that I'll show you how to do that. First off you're going to need to disable uh, the uh, automatic driver update. So we're going to need to go into control panel here. 
So right click on the start button and go control panel. And then once control panel is open, you want to look for devices and printers. Once that is opened, you want to go into there and look for the devices up the top left hand side there. You can see the device for the computer. It's a computer icon next to the uh, digital monitor screen. So once you get that, right click on there and uh, once you right click on that, you want to look for device installation settings and this will stop Windows from updating your drivers for you. Just put a dot in the uh, no there. And then what that will do is when you uninstall that driver and reboot the system, it won't install a, a driver for it because you've told it not to. And then you can install uh, your driver that you've downloaded from the manufacturer's website or from the motherboard uh, manufacturer's website. So you can now click uninstall and then you can then reboot the system and there'll be no driver there and you'll be able to install your latest driver. And hopefully that resolves your issue. So once you've completed all that step, you can also go up to actions here and then go to add legacy hardware. Now inside here, if you haven't got the Realtek driver, you can search through here as well. And you can also go install the hardware that I manually select from the list. Click next. Now what we want to do here is go down to the sound feature. Once we find the sound feature here, sound, video and gaming controllers, click next and you'll see on the left hand side manufacturer. You want to look for the manufacturer of your device. You can see creative and there's loads of them inside here. So if yours isn't real tech, you can also use this method okay, uh, as well. And once you find your one, I'll just click on Realtek and show you, it gives you the Realtek high definition audio. And you can see how I can go next and it will reinstall that for me. Or if I have a disk, I can uh, browse to that location. Or if I have uh, a folder with the driver in it, I can go to that location as well via that method. So let's now go uh, back down to the sound icon here. And we're going to go back to playback devices. Now inside playback devices, we're just going to do a quick check here now we've done all that work for us. So we're just going to open up the speaker properties and you can see here the jack information. So make sure the cables are plugged into the right ports of, the, of your computer ports at the back uh, to make sure. And you can do a test with your software as well to do that. Also you see the controller information here. This is the Realtek controller which we was talking about earlier on. The levels, make sure your levels are at the right settings. And also that enhancements, the one we've done before, this is how you can change the enhancements yourself. If it doesn't detect it on the troubleshoot, you can do it from there. Now you just go into advanced and then you can change the default format to a different format quality. And then you can just hit test and you should get some sound playing back. If you don't get no sound, then there's something wrong and you may need to uh, do further investigation or maybe your sound card is fouled. There's loads of reasons for sound issues. These are just some of the basic steps that you can take to try and rectify uh, your problems, okay? But there is a known problem with Windows 10 with sound and these uh, issues can be fixed by following these steps. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.